and that is how Eric lost his life. It's another sad time for the blacks as we lost Eric Jackson on the 18th of June 2020 here in China who was sick or got the heart attack and was denied access into the hospital here in China. So this is a kind of video that I haven't really been talking about, not because I'm not concerned, but because sometimes I feel not just to talk about it. And many people have been saying to me that I have a little platform which I can inform the world about what is going on especially here in China. Now, I for one in China am used to these racism stuff. Like every day as a black living in China you testify that we face racism almost every day in China. Like you just be moving around, someone will see you and just say Nikan Jagger Fajoren. Look at that African and they use it as an abuse. So this really pisses me off some, some time, but I just decided not to talk about it. So if you're new to this channel, guys, my name is Daddy J and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Now this is Eric Jackson, a Ghanaian student who was struck by a heart attack here in China and was rushed to the hospital by his friends but was vehemently refused entry into the hospital at the gate level by the security guard. We saw the security man telling them to go away that Eric is seriously sick and that they can't let him in. Now if somebody is seriously sick, what do you have to do? You have to give that person access into the hospital, you have to save the patient's life. But then the security man was telling them to go, that they cannot attend to them, that this is not a hospital. What is it then? Are they dull to bring him here? It's so disheartening seriously, even though those students insisted that Eric is not sick of anything related to Corona, which we believe that is what the world is afraid of today. Eric is struck by a heart attack. You guys should give him medical attention. But the guy said no. China has its own law as every other country has its own law. That's what the guy said to them. Like it's so bad. These guys even told him that no, Eric has not even gone out of China during this coronavirus period and he has all of his documents proving that he's stayed within China all this period and he's, he's even having his medical test or test result for coronavirus. So this is so sad. And they even took him to a, another place, I think that is a clinic or whatsoever, or a, a hospital we should say, but they still refuse him access to, to, to this hospital. And that is how Eric lost his life. So I, I didn't really want to talk about this, but after watching a couple of these videos, like I shed tears. And I said, no, I have to say this for people to see what is really happening. Recently, about one or two months ago, we saw another Ghanaian student who died because he was also refused medical treatment. They called the police, they called even the doctors to, they called the ambulance to give this guy a medical treatment that they vehemently refused because he was black. Black lives really matters. When will this continue? They decided to let that guy die. He stayed for two weeks at home with no medical treatment because he could not walk. He was unable. The, 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 the little friends that were around were unable to carry him. Even if they had to carry him, the taxi people would have refused to carry him because that's what is just going on in China. And during that period, it was coronavirus, so people were not allowed to go out. They called the ambulance to come and pick this guy to the hospital, but they vehemently refused. Like, this thing needs to stop. Black lives matter. Every human race. In fact, their lives matter. Every human life matters. 
I read an article two days ago which says the blacks are a curse by God to the world. It is a white guy that wrote it. Like when I read this, I was like, wow, this is crazy. This is stupid. We are humans. If people can live with dogs, if people can live with cats in their homes, what more of a black? Are we not humans? And this is like a wake up call to the African leaders and to everyone. Let's take it as a responsibility to make Africa great. Let's make Africa great again. And let me also use this opportunity to sympathize with everyone that has been facing racism across the world in one way or the other. I just want to tell you to be strong, believe in what you're doing, believe in yourself, know you came to this world for a purpose and let no one stop you for accomplishing your goals, for accomplishing what you were created for. Black lives really matter. Let's share this video and preach to the world that we are tired of racism, we are tired of discrimination and let it reach to our African leaders. Let them know that we are here not just to make Africa great but to make Africa to be one of the world that or one of the countries in the world that the world will look and they said no these people are serious with whatsoever they are doing yeah if you're living in China you will bear with me that almost every day in China we face racism you're walking in the street you see somebody just call you a name somebody just do this even looking when looking for a job once they hear you are from Africa you are black they start discriminating you likely not have the job so let's make people believe that we Africans are also great and can be great once again so please thanks for watching this video I hope you do share it let it reach to the level it's supposed to reach and don't forget to subscribe for more videos my name is Daddy J and I'll be back again